The scientific method. This video is geared towards the Leaving Cert Biology course and this is an updated summary. This is probably one of the first topics that you study in fifth year. So the first step of the scientific method is an observation. Something is noticed by the scientist, perhaps it's a natural phenomenon or maybe it's a pattern in data and this inspires questions, they want answers. So based on these observations the hypothesis is formed. This is an educated guess. It's a possible explanation and it's something that must be able to be proved or disproved. Experimentation follows. This is using controlled repeated experiments to either prove or disprove the hypothesis. Data is collected and analysed as a result of all of these experiments. Conclusions are drawn and the hypothesis is either supported or rejected or perhaps altered. Publication of results follows. This is generally in scientific journals. It's very important to share findings because it promotes others to test and to do the experiments also. If over time the experiments are repeated by other scientists and they have similar findings, this can lead eventually to the formation of a scientific theory but remember the theories can change with new discoveries too. Experiments are central to the scientific method so what are the features of good experimentation? Well firstly the experiment should be repeatable there should be clear instructions, there should be one variable change, the independent variable, and all other variables remain constant. They should be non-biased. For example, if doing drug testing, ensure you randomise, get a computer to select who gets what drug, and double blind testing. Neither the testee nor the tester know who gets what. Good experiments are reliable. To ensure this, have a large sample size and use many replicates, repeats. Experiments should be safe and ethical, so ensure that correct safety procedures are clearly laid out and also ethics approval should be sought. The control in the experiment is needed for comparison. You're going to have a test experiment where you change one thing, one independent variable, and you want to see what effect that has. You can only see what effect it has by comparing it to the control. There are limitations to the scientific method. There's going to be advances in technology. We're limited by our current knowledge and, of course, accidental discoveries. Remember, this is a very basic summary.